step 1 figure out the conclusion this part here that the negative comments are not justified is the conclusion here step 2 is to link the two bold faces with the conclusion see the first bold face here is a universal truth that supports the conclusion and the second bold face is a consideration that also supports the conclusion so with that groundwork let's look at the answer choices no the second has not been used to support the position opposed by the argument the second directly supports the argument and therefore answer choice a should be eliminated similarly answer choice c also says that second opposes and first opposes that's not the case both first and second bold faces are supporting the argument so answer choice c should also be eliminated a similar problem with answer choice E. This says that the first is opposed by the argument. That is not the case. Both the bold faces and both the bold faces as well as the argument, the conclusion are in sync. So even answer choice E should be eliminated. It's between B and D now. And even answer choice D says that the first states a generalization that underlies the position opposed by the argument. No. The two bold faces and the argument are all in sync. So any answer choice that uses anything on the lines of the term opposed is not going to be correct. So this is an easy question to solve once you get this catch. All the four answer choices could be eliminated on the basis of this reasoning. The reasoning that the two bold faces and the conclusion are all in sync. Let's confirm answer choice B now. We know that this part is the conclusion. The first bold face is something that supports the conclusion. The second bold face also supports the conclusion. Look at answer choice B. The first provides evidence. Yes, the first provides evidence. Yes, since it is a concrete fact, it can be called an evidence. And yes, it is supporting the conclusion of the argument. And the second bold face, something very interesting here, this says that this states the conclusion. Now, we are under the impression that the conclusion is this part here. The negative comments were not justified. This is one way of saying the conclusion, but if we look at it deeply, we find that the negative comments were not justified because the unoccupied rooms are not because of any mishandling. The rooms are going unoccupied because of these reasons here. So in other words, yes, the second bold face can be called the conclusion. Remember, you will not always get the vocabulary that you wish. You will often need to understand, process the improvisation that GMAT does. B is the correct answer choice. And more importantly, this is one of those questions where you may not be able to select the correct answer choice directly. You may have to go by elimination. And see, there is so much wrong with the other answer choices that B is the only answer choice that can be correct. Sometimes you will find yourself in such situations on the GMAT. This question is a good example. B is the correct answer choice.